and we are all set to go. The match referee is Ted Uncle from Sarasota, Florida, and his whistle is the signal for Ibrahimovic to play it to the jet, and it is the Galaxy, predominantly in white, playing from the right with Maria and Valentine. It is quite an ask for a side to start the season with 12 games on the road in succession. It's a, an MLS record to Providence Park. We will be there with our ESPN cameras for the visit of LAFC. Blanco into space for Valeri. And Diego Valeri. Early test for David Bingham. Moreira. Wait on the pass. It's the Uruguayan defender Polenta who is fouled. Pale blue skies overhead, the sun has now disappeared. The Jets. On crosses, felt like the three centre backs for the Portland Timbers could provide them some cover and balance in that defensive third. And Tuna will be running through the best of the weekend's action. Corona fill in the gaps. But that is also something that Giovanni Savarese has identified as a potential opportunity for the visitors. As would I, John, because immediately then when the ball turns over, if you've got a guy like Blanco coming out of that position. Let me see. Studious ball and a chance as well for Blanco. Jets. Looking early for Ibrahimovic, a miscue by Tuiloma, and then a foul. Referee doing a good job of managing the game in that spot. But John, you can kind of see why Giovanni Savarese looked at it and said, with three center backs, I was a little surprised by the acquisition of Atuna coming from Man City on loan. You know, we saw that with New York City and Angel Herrera. I was a little surprised. We can center back from Bologna in Italy. Skelvik. Felcher. And Ibrahimovic against the base of the post. How on earth, how on earth did he turn that into a chance? You've got to be kidding me. One of the best goals we've ever seen in Toronto last summer. Where, but watch his right leg. I mean, as a defender, Cascante, he's doing anything he can to get between the ball and the attacking player. And yet here you go, you've got a guy that's 6'4", 6'5", with the agility and the touch. That's ridiculous, because he's always looking for that play off the back shoulder. It's a lot of time off by maybe a half a yard. Belcher, and Antuna was Great lurking, defending. and Moreira did really well. It's short to Dos Santos, Alessandrini. Skelvik. Cut by Gatorade Thirst Quencher, the proven sports fuel. Guzman. Valeri. Sold Valeri just a tad short with the pass. Dispossessing Jonathan Dos Santos. Actually cut out by Corona. Blanco. Oh. Take an alert to it. We've seen a couple of instances from Portland coming forward, and a lot of it's off this man here, Sebastian Blanco. Good save from David Bingham. Then he has the occasional ear flick that goes trending on Twitter <laughs> that is unnecessary. Yes, Gelvik. And the shot. Always oh, just that touch too high from the boot of Daniel Steres. Bobison. 
Kuzma. Swept away by Dos Santos. Fresh from his first international goal for Mexico during the week. Stadium. Chao. Blanco. Was Valentin. Berbisi. Polenta's header yields a corner kick for the Timbers. Given up goals in very bad spots that have killed them. They were easily the better team against the Colorado Rapids. Yes, it's in the snow, but you score three goals on the road. And you're in an ideal situation because how often in MLS history have we seen DC United, Toronto, RSL, Sporting Kansas City, when you have that amount of home games in the second part of the year. It's an MLS for the Timbers than any other player in history. It's Diego Valeri who scored more goals than any other player in history for the club. Corona. Alessandrini to Ibrahimovic who goes over. It's a penalty. Buffeted from behind. We've got Zlatan, he's going to receive it with his back to goal. But watch Diona off his backside. He does run right through him. I mean, so the argument here is, is what exactly? Zlatan knows that Diona's coming through him. So he gets between the body and the ball. But that's an understanding and experienced player knowing that it's not about receiving that ball, but knowing any kind of contact, I'm going down. Ibrahimovic. Clean as you like. Always ready to accept a claim. Second goal of the season. You knew the penalty. He was going to get at Tanella going the other way. But I just go back to the understanding of the situation and where you are on the field. Zlatan Ibrahimovic knew the situation. Again, Rolf Felcher. Third time for the fullback. This is Alessandrini. Sometimes you need a little bit of bite and fight to get back into this thing, but that's a dangerous place to give up a foul and a set piece to the Galaxy. And the head of Felcher, that also of Steris going for the ball. Santos. And I think some people will say, well, coincidentally, is it because his brother's off the roster and he's out of the way? And out of the shadow. I've always felt Jonathan was the better player. Valeri. Corona. Legit. And Tuna. been little support with Portland going forward. Ibobisi, Blanco, chance here for Portland. Opens up a bit for Blanco. He played all of 2018. I still think the LA Galaxy in their front office want to assess that fullback position when Giancarlo Gonzalez gets here, but... The pitch on this near side. Ibrahimovic. Chara. Guzman. Valeri. Guzman. What and turned goal. in by Abovisi. And whilst it might not be spectacular, what it is is beautifully constructed. They played their way right through LA Galaxy. And that is a coach's dream. The lines, all of this in this example. So now you draw out, and because LA Galaxy are too slow to recognize the situation, Skelvik's too slow sliding over. Polenta's chasing shadows. One, two touch passing right between the lines. And LA Galaxy on their heels. Portland Timbers with a massive goal at the end of the first half. Great look there from Guzman. Simple finish for Abobasi.
but it was all about the pattern of play and the LA Galaxy chasing shadows at home. On the end of a magnificently constructed team move. by Polenta, conjured it up, very much all their own work. Well, that was pretty good timing by the Timbers and by Ibobisi in particular. MLS on ESPN is presented by Audi. And away we go with the second half at Dignity Health Sports Park. LA Galaxy 1, Portland Timbers 1. Okay, tantalizingly poised. And a good response by the visiting Timbers to falling behind to an Ibrahimovic penalty. Excellent team goal to restore parity on the stroke of half time. It's Alessandrini. The jet. Ball. Here's Alessandrini. Ibrahimovic. Here's Blanco. Moreira. Needed was a little touch from Abobisi, it didn't get it. I caught out of the corner of our eye. There was a throw in on this near side, and Scalotto and Valeri shook hands, had a bro hug, and then continued on the play. Interesting part of that, and John as well, is they're eerily similar type of players. They're creative, but both players could score their fair share of goals. Alessandrini, there's Ibrahimovic. By those Galaxy supporters. Pleased to see him back. Steres. Valeri. Dos Santos. Alessandrini. Felcher made it his. Another went over in instalments. Galaxy side so conditioned to success, winners of MLS Cup three times in a four-year spell. Because you see Jonathan Dos Santos drop deep, then Corona has the freedom to fill the gaps. Felcher, Ibrahimovic, brave goalkeeping. Jeff Atanella clutching the ball. Extremely smart because once Felcher gets in this spot, Ibrahimovic has his Perfect positioning in between that ball coming in with the defender on his backside. Atanello recognizing it right now when that ball's played across. Come out, be big, be strong. Yeah, another it. bad giveaway though from Diego Valeri. We've seen four or five of those tonight, uncharacteristically. Mo and his twin brother Gustavo, who's one of the assistant coaches. We were asking them yesterday, who's the older twin? Guillermo said he thinks it's him because he got his fist out first, was how he put it. Alessandrini. I see they've been better. Corona, Ibrahimovic. Oh, still going, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Looking for contact again. No way. And the same outcome. Hey, I mean, watch the cut. By the way, unbelievable cut to unbalance those three defenders. But right now, he's going down for me. That is a foul, though, John. Doesn't he come in? Watch the contact from Atanella. And what? at what point does Latan Ibrahimovic come down? Ooh, that is a very, very, very difficult call for me. You use every asset that your experience provides. Ibrahimovic goes for the Penenka. Ever the showman.
And a weekend in MLS that's bookended by spectacular Penenka penalties. You don't have to technically touch the attacking player for there to be a foul, but Zlatan knew exactly what was coming. He runs into Antonella in the sense that then contact is made, but then you've got to have... And the Penenka puts it in. Galaxy up 2-1 at home. Blanco from the restart. Now a chance for... Diego Valerian, it's a wild finish. Leading European leagues every week, but it leads to an awful lot of unhappiness. Yamosa, the assistant coach, has allowed his feelings to go a little bit too far on that subject and is being asked to leave the arena. John, was he wasn't a penalty. But after watching that play, I'm, I'm okay with it. Sandrini. Corona and Tuna and Moreira with the challenge. Not all MLS teams can make meaningful changes from the bench in the hope of changing a game, but LA Galaxy can, and on comes Chris Pontius. There's a false nine up front. I don't know. Boateng is ready to come on for LA Galaxy down below us now. Throughout his entire career, Boateng's always been better in the 11. But I think as he matures, and especially in that man's system and this team, you get a little bit of it, they're going to be more difficult to defend. Dos Santos. Uh, the flick by Skelvik. Nine to physically mark, and then Corona can fill the channels, Lejet can fill the channels, Pontius in these moments. I just think at times, if they get a little bit more mobility from Zlatan, they're the psyche of that locker room, because they won that game without Zlatan in the lineup. It's well played. Ibrahimovic waiting in the middle. And a hat trick goes begging. See, in, listen, this ball's here perfect. Just hit it right now on the ground. Right now on the ground, that kind of ball. Only Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the only player I've seen that can get his leg up that high. If the ball's delivered anywhere on the ground, it's a simple finish. And listen, these are key moments, John. Andy Polo. Jorge Morera. In possession, it breaks down. Ibrahimovic. For the rangy Felcher, and Ibrahimovic is off in search of space in the penalty box. Valentin. David Guzman. Blanco. Spin away for a corner. In that space for Guzman. And that was Guzman's final act. He's been substituted. Thomas Konechny on. It's coming from someone who has experience in that moment. But again, it's a simple ball from Shkovic. If he plays it on the ground, it's 3-1 LA, and you're out of here with three points. Now Two defenders time. take each other out. Here's Milano. And LA Galaxy have had a big, big let off there. Boateng. Oh, what is Boateng thinking? Head uncle has his whistle. 
to his lips and confirms LA Galaxy as narrow winners of a game that was not without its moments of controversy. Zlatan Ibrahimovic cast himself as match winner 